World number one in the lineup now, Caitlin Simmers, and she's looking to look at a familiar face with Sawyer Limblad out there. Growing up in Southern California, Sawyer, San Clemente, Katie, Oceanside. That's about a 20-minute drive on the 405 freeway, or is it the 5 by then? It's been a while. Not a lot of girls can beat her, so here they are battling right here. Look at that, out positioning at Katie Simmers. Paying attention to Brett's advice probably during those coaching days of how important the start of these heats are. I mean, she got the wave, unable to get a turnoff, but you could tell she was very focused on getting that opener. And then even uh, in her opening round heat, she lost priority and then Joanne got a seven. So she's gone through a lot of different things in a short period of time today as we go through a nice first turn from Caitlin Simmers. This thing's getting full quick, but she'll start off with a lead over Sawyer Limbaugh, just getting the completion there. And you can see Taj there on screen and doing the catting for his sister Sawyer. Back to Katie's wave here, Flick. Yeah, this is a smaller wave, but she really got going on that first turn there where it really stood up. But And with you having that confidence that you know how to surf this wave, it was a very slow start to the heat for you before you got that four and then you backed it up with that seven five. How did you stay calm in those moments and rely on all your time here? Yeah, it was a really slow start to the heat. So a long way to go just to step off. She still has her lead, but now 5.15, and she'll leave Lulu with priority, just chasing a 4.34. Non-priority heat, Katie Simmers gets held up. But of course she's going to pull that. <laughs> she loves a late drop. <laughs> Got a little bit in my head, but um, yeah, I'm really happy to make it through that round. It's a scary round, that one. and. Luan is so solid out here. She's out here every single day and lives lives right here. So in the end, I was just, she's so capable of getting that score. And um, I was definitely trying to find something to better my, my backup just to make it a little bit harder on her. But um, yeah, I got, got lucky, I guess, and I'll take it. The Heat, Caitlin Simmers on top. Caitlin Simmers with that yellow jersey and priority. Here we go with Katie. Oh, oh unfortunate. What? Slips off the back of her board while winding up down the line and gets caught in the lip. So I feel like it could just be the last strike on either end that are going to determine the outcome of this heat. And here we go with Sawyer Lindblad. Finds open face. That was a nice carve on the backhand. More dynamic second turn. And fits three turns before the wave hits the channel. She's going to get the number. And now it's going to be up to Katie Simmers to mount a comeback. Let's break it down. Sawyer sort of waits a bit here just to get this first maneuver, but this one was timed pretty well. She cut that one a little bit short, but I think most of the points will come from that second turn there. She was really able to get critical. There she is from above. Her positioning on this wave. Looks like she's in the pocket. Here we go with Katie Simmers. Screams down the line. Yanks the rail there. Nice mid-face carve. One more time for Katie Simmers. Larger wave than Sawyer's. Will that impact make the difference? She's going to get the score, but then behind her, Katie takes off. And this was a really, this was a bigger wave. Clean face, taps the rail there. And then she could see that that one was going to close out. So she got up there nice and early. It was really controlled. That was a wild one. Uh, you know, you paddled by saying that you thought you should not win that heat after your performance. I, yeah, I definitely like feel like I deserve to lose after that. I made a lot of poor decisions. 